welcome to another mind-blowing episode of Our Church, where we are exploring together the many rich images and symbols that are part of St. Boniface Church. Today we'll be looking at the high altar in the sanctuary. This high altar was actually from the original St. Boniface Church. It was handcrafted by some of the original parishioners of St. Boniface and consecrated in 1873, and has really undergone very little change or modification since then, some restoration work here and there, etc. So really what we have here is a 147-year-old piece of St. Boniface history connecting us with those earlier generations. And uh, for many years, it was the only altar at St. Boniface. Some of you might remember the priest celebrating Mass at this high altar with his back to the people. Uh, we no longer celebrate Mass here, but it still continues to serve some important purposes for us at St. Boniface. Moving in closer, we want to look at some of the other images and symbols that surround the altar that help us to understand its meaning and its purpose. And the first thing we're going to look at is in the base of the altar, right in the center of that base, we have a wooden carving depicting the Last Supper. This is modeled on the famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci of that name. And you cannot miss the parallelism being drawn here between the celebration of the Last Supper and, in fact, the table there of the Last Supper and the altar, the table of the altar. In fact, it literally parallels the altar, the uh, table that Jesus is celebrating the Last Supper on in this image, and the table of the altar are literally parallel. And so you can't miss the connection that they're drawing here, that this gathering of Jesus with his disciples around the Last Supper table, where he gives them the gift of his body and blood and institutes the Eucharist, is very much the same celebration we celebrate when we celebrate the Eucharist on the altar, we, where Christ continues to gather his disciples around himself and continues to offer them his body and blood. So a very clear image connection there going on. And that sacramental pledge that Jesus gives his disciples, he, of course, fulfills and completes on the cross. And so every sanctuary has a cross. The cross on our high altar is above the high altar. And again, that symbolizes, of course, Christ's sacrifice for us, his sacrifice on the cross, the same sacrifice we celebrate on the altar that gives us the feast of his body and blood. And again, another clear image being drawn here in that it is between those two events, between the Last Supper where he institutes the Eucharist and between the cross where he fulfills and completes it, that we celebrate the Eucharist. That those two saving events in history come together and are forever present in all times and places and are present for us at St. Boniface when we celebrate the Eucharist on this altar. Moving back to the base of the altar, we notice on either side of the Last Supper image, we have another image. It's the same image on either side. It is the image of a cup or chalice, like the one we would use at Mass. And that cup is surrounded by stalks of wheat and clusters of grapes. And there's, on the surface, a very easy understanding of what that symbol means. Of course, the wheat is where we get bread and the grapes are where we get wine. And so it's a symbol of the bread and wine we use at Mass. But when you look closer, there's a deeper meaning here. You'll notice that there's only one cup. Even though there are many grains of wheat and many grapes, there's one cup. And just as the many grains of wheat are ground together to make flour to make the bread, and just as the many grapes are pressed together to produce the juice that makes the wine, so when we come to Mass, we come together, and we are transformed by our celebration of the Eucharist to be made one sharing in the one bread and the one cup, the bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation. So there's a, a rich symbol of our unity, the unity we celebrate in the Eucharist, what makes us one in our celebration of the Eucharist in that image. We now look to the surface of the altar. And if you look on either side of the surface of the altar, we have candles. And we Catholics, we love our candles. We have candles for everything. Uh, but candles on or near an altar always represent the presence of Christ, the light of Christ shining in the world. And so that's why we only light them when we celebrate Mass on that altar or when we expose the Blessed Sacrament on that altar, because that is when Christ is present for us there. There is one candle near the high altar, however, that we do not only light during Mass. 
It stays lit almost year round, and that is the sanctuary lamp located to the left of the high altar. And when that candle is lit, what it tells us is that Christ is present for us in the tabernacle, that the Blessed Sacrament is in there. And there are only two days a year when he is not in there, and that is Good Friday and Holy Saturday. We remove the Blessed Sacrament from the tabernacle at the end of Mass of the Lord's Supper on Holy Thursday, and we only replace it after the celebration of the Easter Vigil on Saturday. So for two days it is empty, and that symbolizes for us the silence of Christ in the tomb. We commemorate his separation from his disciples during those two days and experience that silence ourselves during that time. And that is our high altar. We no longer celebrate Mass on this altar, but it does continue to connect us with the many generations of St. Boniface parishioners who came before us and who were nourished from this altar. They continue to worship with us still, not in body but in spirit, in the communion of saints. May their example of faith inspire us to a greater appreciation for the awesome gift of the Eucharist and move us to go out and share our faith in that gift with others. So thank you for tuning in to this episode of Our Church. Uh, next time in the video I produce, I will be looking at closer at the tabernacle that is housed by the high altar. And I know Deacon Tim is also producing videos touring the church, particularly right now, the church windows. So please tune in to all those videos. Stay tuned for more updates and more resources as we continue to gather through the current crisis. So thank you again for tuning in and stay tuned for more about our church.